83-yard touchdown. That's number 95, Miles Garrett. Haven't heard it. And he's got this running game working, as you see, with Matt Breida. And look at the speed on Breida. Word for that. It's called preseason football. <laughs> now they're undefeated. <laughs> it's exactly. in there in October. And he's got this running game working, as you see, with Matt Breida. And look at the speed on Breida. What a way to start it. 83-yard touchdown. That's number 95, Miles Garrett. Haven't heard his name at all tonight. Lined up wide, coming off that right tackle. Let's to the end zone, and that is a touchdown, and it's Breida again. Let's watch number 22, Matt Breida. He's going to be one-on-one -on -one with number 51, Matt Wilson. Just a little choice route. Matt goes this way. Breida comes inside, sets him up. That's an easy throw and catch. Here's a pitch from Garoppolo falling down. Breida, good blocking out in front of him and a leap. And a nice carry on first down. Two long ones on this possession for Breida. Should the Supreme Court be expanded? Trying to keep things light and positive. What a pass to Gasicki. It's played for Miami. You know, you saw Gasicki early on back three weeks as they tried to look for their first one of the season. It's Patrick Braun. A dark near side. He is complete. That's James Burgess, and he has to cover Gesicki, who's running away from him to the sideline. Well, the Dolphins really playing to win. Fitzpatrick's trying to keep things light positive. What a pass to Gesicki! It's play for Miami. Total mismatch. Burgess, there's no chance. Doesn't get his hands on him. Greg Williams. Outside linebacker with all the injuries that they've had at those positions in the middle. Fitzpatrick throwing a dart. Years of his career. So he's going to be thinking about that one for a couple of minutes. That pass by Fitzpatrick, another bullet is complete. That's the tight end lock at one. Fitzpatrick just gets it off. Pressure coming. Fitzpatrick completes it. Gusecki and Kim. Comes in motion, gets that head around. Right, Fitzpatrick hit as he throws. But if you throw it up in the pass rush game. Alexander's coming. Fitzpatrick gets rid of it, and it is caught. Make his NFL debut against the Jets in garbage time. He was two for two with nine yards thereby, which would explain why Aaron Donald is trending right now. He'll be replacing Ryan Fitzpatrick, who was 18 of 27, 191 yards with three touchdowns and two interceptions this Sunday against the Jets. This season, he's had over 1,500 yards, 10 touchdowns, and seven interceptions. Tua did make his NFL debut against the Jets in garbage time. He was two for two with nine yards. 
He last played in a football game with Alabama on November 16th of 2019. As I said, they're on a bye this week, so he will get his first start against well, the L.A. Rams. And he'll get all first-team reps. So what he's yes. really going to get is two weeks, ten practices, first-team reps, and that'll... Listen, I, I think it's catching all of us a little by surprise because Ryan Fitzpatrick... And I, and I do wonder, Joy, that Justin Herbert came in and was so spectacular the clock I, I do uh, joe burrow and herbert are so good you say to yourself the the game now is built for offense it, i mean we thought buffalo had a great defense last year they can't stop anybody who's got a great defense outside of pittsburgh right now so i think you look at it and you think you look around the league and you're like let's see what we got here for eight weeks well I, I look i know dolphins fans are freaking out and, and to dolphins fans i would say please stop being delirious for once in your <laughs> existence okay the dolphins are three and three all right. They just beat the Jets, who are the, by far the worst team in the league. Yeah. San Francisco with a hobbled Jimmy Garoppolo. Calm down. It's this not about this year. Every single year, the Dolphins win a couple, couple games in a row, and Dolphins fans start freaking out. We're on our way to the Super Bowl. Relax. That's not what's happening. We haven't had a franchise quarterback since Dan Marino. Right. It is not about this year. Fitzpatrick knows that. He's been incredible. Yeah. He's he's bought into the role of, of being the vet and the mentor to Tua perfectly you saw him on the sideline cheering when Tua got in he's not he's not living in some alternate reality where this is he's the quarterback of the future he knows that yeah. and you know what you have with Fitz yeah he has, oh he's been playing great we're three and three the Bills just lost to the Titans who might be the best team in the league yeah and the Kansas City Chiefs who are the Super Bowl champions yeah like Miami this this Kansas City is really good Tennessee is really good New England with Cam I think will be good uh, Baltimore is really good. And there's even teams like Denver and the Chargers who, depending on a Sunday, can be really good. Like Miami's got to chill a little bit. Calm down. Yeah. This is the right move. Yes. And it's actually at the right time because you want to give Tua extra time to prepare for an L.A. Rams team that is that is still a very good team, despite what their, their last week has looked like. Yeah, it's at home. It's in Miami, right? Yes. It's, right. At, it's Rams at home. Then they're at the Cardinals. Then they have the Chargers at home. This is, this is the right move. Yeah. You're building for the future. And as you mentioned... Herbert came in right away, has been successful. Burrow, despite the situa situation in looks Cincinnati, great. looks great. You have to see what you have in Tua. Yeah. You have to see what you have. Because right. if, he, if, God forbid, Tua doesn't turn out to be what you thought he was, you, got two... you have to draft someone else. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I really, we, this sounds ridiculous. But